With the construction of smart cities, the current demand for wireless communication equipment is increasing. And the demand for high power radio stations is becoming more and more extensive, which plays a pivotal role in fire protection, industry, and agriculture. The use of high power radio stations has certain requirements. If the operation is improper, it will cause a bad experience or cause certain economic losses. The following mainly introduces the precautions for the use of high power radio stations. 1. Choose a suitable DC regulated power supply. It requires strong anti high frequency interference ability, a small power supply wave, and sufficient load capacity. If necessary, it is better to have functions such as overcurrent, overvoltage protection, and lightning protection. And when selecting the power supply, in addition to retaining 50% of the current margin as recommended, it should be noted that the ripple should not exceed 100 MV. 2. Don't use digital radio in an environment that exceeds its characteristics. It is recommended that do not use digital radio in high temperature, humidity, low temperature, strong electromagnetic fields, or environments with large dust. The loss of these environments to the radio is relatively large, which will shorten the working life of the internal components. And the attenuation of the signal by the strong electromagnetic environment is very large, which is not conducive to the transmission of wireless signals. 3. Make sure the ground wire is connected. The ground wire of the digital radio station should be well connected with the ground wire of the external equipment, such as PC, PLC, etc. Otherwise, it is easy to burn out the communication interface or cause instability in the transmission of the signal, resulting in problems such as errors. 4. Connect a matching antenna or 50 ohms dummy load when testing a digital radio. When testing the digital radio, a matching antenna or 50 ohms dummy load must be connected, otherwise, the transmitter will be easily damaged. If the antenna is connected, the distance between the human body and the antenna should be more than 2 meters to avoid injury. And don't touch the antenna when transmitting. During data transmission, the two antennas should not be too close together, otherwise, the electromagnetic radiation generated by the transmitting end will raise the noise floor around the receiving module resulting in poor reception at the receiving end. 5. Avoid the radio from sending data when it is still starting. Since it takes a certain amount of time to start the transmitter of the radio station and open the squelch of the receiver, it should be noted when sending data, if data is sent to the radio station at the same time as the transmitter is turned on, the previous data will be lost because the transmitter is not yet working stably and the receiver's noise is not turned on at this time. The correct method is, when the transmitter is fully turned on, Wait for 100 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds before sending data, to avoid the radio from sending data to it when it is still starting, resulting in unnecessary packet loss of data. 6. Keep away from explosive dangerous objects. Don't operate high-power radios in flammable places, such as coal mines, or near explosive dangerous objects, detonators for detonation. 7. Install the feeder correctly. Installation and selection of feeder The feeder should be led to the radio along the tower or pole, and the middle should be tied to the pole to avoid being blown by the wind. The length of the feeder should not be too long, otherwise, it will increase the loss. The feeder should avoid sharp bending, and the bending arc should be greater than 120 degrees. 8. Use according to law. The use of high-power radios needs to be used under the management regulations of the local radio regulatory commission, and cannot violate the restrictions of the National Radio Regulatory Commission. Well, that's all about the precautions for the use of high-power radio stations. Hope this video can give you some help. You can share your ideas in the comment zone and we will try our best to answer them.